Punahou is a school like no other. Our beautiful campus and dedicated teachers invite children to explore learning opportunities that can't be found anywhere else. Kindergarten is a particularly special time because children enter a neighborhood that's scaled just for them, that takes into account the natural ways they learn and incorporates the indoors with the outdoors in a seamless fashion so that they can follow their own curiosities. As children grow, we provide endless opportunities for them to explore new interests through extracurricular opportunities and electives. And as children transition to the Kosasa community in second grade, this child-centered approach continues in an environment that encourages students to explore and learn through structured play and discovery. At Punahou, we care deeply about the whole child. For our young learners, that includes gaining self-confidence, the ability to navigate their social environments, and developing a love for learning that lasts a lifetime. The neighborhood really was designed really thinking about how young children learn first before we ever thought about the actual physical buildings and environment. But that idea of being able to go indoors, outdoors, being able to throw the room wide open and have children have the independence to come in and out, being close to the outdoor spaces so that they can get to the garden, they can go out and play ball and not necessarily have an adult right next to them. There are things outdoors that are set up for them. There are pumps to pump water, to go down waterfalls. There are rocks to build dams. There are things to climb and things to slide on and things to go under. All of the things that we know they need to continue to organize both their brain and their bodies um, for, for their learning. Really what we try to help them see is their own capability and their own strength and their own place in this community so that they understand that even though they're the smallest children on campus, that they are part of the whole and they're an important part of the whole so that then they carry that sense of themselves and that sense of capability forward with them. Oh, I know how to go find something. I know how to find my way around. I know how to go get supplies. I know how to act on the playground. I know how to negotiate an argument with someone. All those things are gonna help them step into any classroom. And that's really the more important piece is that human being and how we help that human being blossom into the person that they want to be. Reading, writing, and math are all taught through the workshop model for the most part in the sense that there is kind of a mini lesson uh, of about 10 minutes that the teacher gives that's focused on a specific skill in any of those curricular areas. The rest of that time is for students to work in pairs or small groups or individually and it allows the teacher the flexibility to move around the room, meet with multiple students and that's a way as teachers that we can Kind of continue that formative assessment, that ongoing assessment that's required in all those curriculum areas. Once you let go of the idea that you're not actually teaching to a book but you're teaching to a skill, suddenly the weight is lifted because now my time is freed up visiting and conferencing with students and so I'm able to be able to focus on a wider variety of students but focusing in on the same skills. The fact that we're all using the same model through the year, by the, definitely by the time they're in third grade, they understand how it works thanks to what's happened in K1 and 2. And so it's a much easier transition for us. 